the sign. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be talking on uh, how to increase your color appearance. Okay, so today's tutorial is based on the question that was asked uh, in one of my videos released last year by somebody. Uh, I can't actually figure out the name, but I'll paste it up here so you see. Uh, the person said, uh, "Please, how can I increase?" the color appearance to look more brighter okay so one thing you must know about color is that there are uh, two different um, modes in color theory okay you must first of all understand color theory so that you can be able to apply color in your job uh, we have two different color mode in color theory we have the rogp color mode and the cmyk color mode and these two color are different thing entirely okay you make use of them in different separate ways okay uh, you make use of rogp colors when you are doing jobs that are meant for just online publications okay then you uh, make use of cmyk color mode when you are designing for printing for publication okay so th these are the two different color mode we have in color theory that you make use of the rogb and the cmyk and the rogb is red green and blue and the combination of red green and blue and the cmyk is uh, cyan yellow magenta black okay the k is black the yellow the y is yellow the m is magenta the c is cyan so these are the color mode you make use of so the nature of your job that you are doing determines the color mode you use and the color mode you use uh, uh is is it varies okay now let's take for example um you are designing for for publication okay you are designing for publication and then uh, you're making use of um, let's say uh, yellow okay you make use of yellow make use of yellow sorry you make use of yellow uh, yellow color and uh, so let me zoom it we are making use of uh, yellow color okay this is yellow color now this yellow color you're making use of now is uh, is in CMYK if you check down here you see CMYK okay 100% yellow 100% yellow okay now if you are using this color for printing okay if you're using color for printing and you want to combine colors together you, you might be mindful of the kind of colors you combine okay there are some kind of printing that does not require colors to appear for four four times when you see color four four times we have a combination of cyan magenta yellow and black that is when you're using black you use 100 percent black which is this 100 percent black for your printing 100 percent black okay you are you try as much as possible to avoid uh, the black that falls four times this type of black four times as 100% cyan, 100% magenta, 100% uh, black, 100% yellow so this type of color you are avoided for printing purposes so you, for printing purposes you make use of just 100% black and the rest will be zero 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 but why for publication for uh, online designs uh, uh, for anything if flyer online you can make use of 100% in fact make use of whatever black you want to make use of okay whatever color you want to make use of now coming back to your question talking about uh how can i increase my color appearance now there are the, there's a way you increase your color appearance in color x7 uh, you come down to this place you double click on it twice left click on it twice so once you left click, left click on it twice now you'll be seeing these things that are here this pop-up menu has different layer here okay now one thing you must have in this place that there are so many details here that you need to understand okay now the thing you need in this place is just these two okay these two three okay these three things is what you need in this place so you go to harmonize your color so if you look at this place we have lighter we have cooler we have warmer we have darker we have lighter we have less saturated now when you're talking about increasing your color when you're talking about increasing your color appearance this is where you increase your color appearance okay you want to make it more lighter you want to make it more brighter you want to make it more darker you want to make it cooler you want to make it uh less saturated whatever uh, appearance you need to make you know, that adjustment to make to the appearance of your color this is where you make the appearance of your you adjust the appearance of your color so uh, uh you that has a question this is where you adjust the appearance of your color you to make it more light make it lighter make it darker so you press lighter make it lighter so you see the the yellow will become more lighter okay now mind you this is cmyk for printing purposes okay then you want to make it more darker click on the darker mode then yellow will become darker so on and so forth 
then we are using it for online designs in flyer you click you just change the cmyk to rogb okay change to rgb then you make your adjustment so that is the basic way that is the easiest and simplest way to increase your color appearance in correct seven or in correct in okay that's how you increase the color appearance and make use of the cooler version make use of the uh, warmer version make use of the uh, lighter version making of the uh, darker version making use of the less saturated to blend your color and make use of color harmony okay so that is where you make the adjustments in your color uh, harmonization okay so the second one i'm talking about today the second one i'm talking about because it didn't actually specify which one you're talking about whether it's color or image okay so the second one we're talking about today how to uh, increase the appearance of the color in your image Okay, that will be the second one we're talking about today so i'm going to drive in my image now that i'm going to be using let's make some adjustments to the image we'll be using okay so then the 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 uh what really transforms image okay what really bring out the color uh formation in an image really bring out the color the beauty in the image is uh mean to highlight and shadow okay if you are familiar with these three things and you can be able to make of these three things you'll be able to manipulate colors uh relating to images that will suit your design okay you'll be able to blend your image to your design so mastering the shadow allies and mid tone is very very essential when it comes to uh, blending of image to the color of your design or blending your color to the image you need whatever whatever case may be okay but you have to know how to make use of these three things the highlight the shadow and the mid tone they are very 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 essential when it has to come with uh working with images in your work okay you don't want images that are looks uh more bright the image that, that is off uh, the color you are using for your job okay you need something that is that is simple neat and uh it's good to it is good to the eye okay one of the ways that uh that will present your work that will make your work look good is when it is presentable so you don't want to make job that is uh, that, that, that blinds the eye okay you want job that will uh, look beautiful and look harmonious in anyone's eye anybody that says i don't eat okay the lower aspect size okay so quickly i'm going to be looking at this image i'm going to be checking the you just come to your bitmap come to image adjustment lab and this year we'll be doing the magic uh increasing the mean tone reducing the mean tone increasing the highlight reducing the highlight reducing the shadow reducing the shadow until we get to our what we need is satisfaction okay so what we do right now is um uh i'm going to increase um first uh, let me first of all uh, give an example of the highlights the mean tone and the shadow in your image so this is the highlights the place the reflection of the lights okay this is where your, this is your highlights okay this is your mean tone okay and this is your shadow okay the highlights the mean tone this place the mean tone this is the shadow okay so it depends where you are increasing are you increasing your highlights are you increasing the mean tone are you increasing the shadow in the image Okay, so basically, uh, I just want to use this as a practical to, to practicalize to you uh, uh, the application of these things based on the question that was raised from last year's video on how to increase the color appearance that, that was not specified. Okay, it was not specific. So I'm, I've done about I've done for the color aspect. I'm doing it for the image now. So whichever one you want, you pick one of the two. So two of them are actually useful to you. Okay, so uh, this is the mid tone, this is the shadow, and this is the highlight. Okay, so if I increase the highlight. It's going to increase the highlight of the image okay then if i reduce the shadow it's going to reduce the shadow in the image okay bring more shadow to it so if i increase the shadow it's going to reduce the shadow in the image okay for but if i decrease the shadow it's going to add more shadow to the image now this is the mid tone talking about this place okay if i reduce the mid tone it's going to reduce the mid tone in the image and uh, if i increase it it's going to increase the mid tone in the image okay mid tone in the image same thing to your allies if i reduce the allies it's going to reduce uh the allies in the image okay then if i increase it it's going to increase the allies in the image so it it all depends on the image and how you want it okay then you can uh, back it up with your contrast make it more contrasted Okay, to make it more contrasted, to sharper, you know, whatever you want. Okay, you can increase the brightness of the image, uh, reduce the brightness of the image. Just play around with it. Okay, so basically, these are your manipulate your images in Core X7, and uh, 
there's other ways you can manipulate your image in the correct seven just stay tuned to this video uh, and uh, i'm going to be releasing more and more often of more video of how you're going to manipulate your pictures colors no how that has to do with correct graphics no okay so stick around if you don't subscribe you hit the subscription button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify when i release my latest videos and if you find this video helpful please hit the thumbs up button uh, below and uh, please don't forget to share these videos with your friends keep commenting if you, if you have any question draw the question down below in this comment box and i promise i will reply your question and uh, i release my video every friday see you next friday thank you stay tuned i remember this